All right, welcome back. And here we go with the third of the partial solutions that we'll go through for this particular assignment from chapter nine. Uh, this started with question 24 and we had 25 and now the last one, number 27 here. So in this problem, we have this plate that is dropped and shatters into three pieces. So this plate, when it hits the ground, will break into three pieces of equal mass we're given. Uh, let's call this piece number one, number two, and piece number three. That's fine. And we're told that two of the pieces shoot off with equal velocities. Velocity two. And, uh, so velocity one and velocity two are going to be equal in value. We're also told that they shoot off in directions that happen to be right angles to each other. And the third piece will shoot off with some velocity and in some direction. And we are asked, well, what is that velocity in that direction? So right away, I'm going to write down the goal here. What am I looking for? I want to find the value of V3 and also want to find a direction. Measure it as an angle, right? There we go. I don't want to forget that. Don't lose track of that. So right away, lots of vectors involved. I, I probably would be really smart to set up at least an initial idea, an initial trial of a coordinate system. So I'm going to have y and x. And I can say, well just to sort of match what I already have going on in my, my sketch. This will this could be velocity of one. And at right angles to that right angles to that. Speak clearly. Velocity two. And I want to recall U1 equals V2. And V3, well I can guess. I can I can just eyeball this and say, hmm, so the only way that uh, V3 here really works is if it truly is going to shoot off in some direction this way. And here's why I know that. A again, conservation of momentum. Now, here's the deal with this. Here's the, the, the interesting part, little, little hitch. The plate, if you can imagine this plate falling down. Do it here. The plate falling down and then hitting and shattering, right? Well, it does have momentum, but in the downward direction toward the ground. There is no momentum laterally in any direction, right? So in, in, in this XY plane that I have defined here, there is zero initial momentum. And what that means is, since uh, the net force in these directions, the x and y directions, will be zero. Um, then the total momentum in the x and y directions must remain unchanged. So no total momentum beforehand, there must be no total momentum after. And from that argument, then I can sort of say, well, this third momentum and therefore third velocity must be somewhere over here in this quadrant down here in order to have all the momenta cancel out. So the key, already said it, but here we go. So initially, there's no momentum in the xy plane as, as shown here. There is momentum vertically. You might call that the z direction, right? Or the, along the z axis. But no momentum in the xy plane and uh, no net force in the xy plane. There is a force that's going to be caused by the ground acting upward, but that's not going to change the momentum in the xy plane at all. So from this statement, we can say that, all right, um, there's going to be no change in momentum. And from that, we can also say that the sum of the momentum or momenta in the xy plane 
uh, before the collision since there's none uh, and after the collision there's none so if we're to add up all the momenta we should get zero and so I can I can pretty well envision somewhere this direction must be that third velocity and what I need is its value and its direction now its direction well I can think about measuring the direction here from the positive x-axis and that's sort of a traditional thing I could call that an angle theta so direction angle theta is going to be part of my answer that I need to find here awesome well at this point check this out right right from this statement we can uh, we can start setting this up but I'm not going to do any more equation work at the moment I want to show you one more thing in fact I want to encourage you to uh, be flexible in your thinking always maybe be thinking along the lines of equations maybe be thinking along the lines of diagrams and graphs and whatnot because you know we, we can deal with this sure but there's something we can see watch this I know I'm just going to redraw my x and y coordinates here okay y and x and I know that I have this velocity v1 and I also know that I need the sum of the momenta in the x and y directions to be zero I need something that's going to cancel this velocity one so to speak uh, all three of these pieces ha are equal in mass and that's very helpful um, but there's there's got to be zero uh, some of the momentum in the y direction has to be zero and also some of the momentum in the x direction has to be zero so I'm going to need something to cancel that velocity it has to be this guy here it has to be there also is this velocity in the x direction due to piece number two and there has to be something here in the x direction to cancel it it's got to be there all right now here's what I'm going to suggest you do take this idea that's going on right here and redraw it one more time redraw Oop, you can't see that I'm sorry there we go redraw that one more time and think of this visually and think of this in terms of something in the x direction and something in the y direction and I then want you thinking about working with the math and, and setting it up as an equation to try to solve for this guy and it should be a, a, an easy thing to do right it you have an X and a Y you want to find this you won't finish with an exact value you, you can check out the back of the book it has the answer and you should see that it, it's not a, a just a number they, they give you uh, um, a bit of a symbolic answer and that's fine but you ought to be able to get from this step to getting that value pretty easily and then finally I also want you to look at the situation here and I want you to be able to come up with this angle theta pretty handily it should not be a problem for you okay at this point I want you to think about the basics the skills you already have think think uh, uh, what is possible here there's no tricks nothing new nothing very difficult or complicated for you but I want you to finish this one up please okay so thank you for watching and I hope this helped and uh, I want you to look forward to uh, the next set of instructions coming your way take care now bye bye